Hey friends, Keely Dunn here from FH Empires. I know you were probably expecting to see a white whistle on a red background, but I did my hair today, so I look a little bit different. So today's Ask FHU question came from a few people on Instagram. Bren J. Duckworth, Alejandro Sean, hey buddy, and Allie Bear 2809 all tagged FHU about this super fun incident, so thanks friends, appreciate it. So this video clip was posted by Hockey NL Op Instagram from this weekend's match between Den Bosch and Ken Pong, and it's been shared out widely from there. Side note, if you're not following Hockey NL Op Instagram, please do so. They do great work with their video highlight packages and showcasing all great things from Dutch hockey. So in this clip, an outlet pass flies up the middle of the pitch towards a marked Ken Pong attacker close to the top of the circle. As the Den Bosch defender mishandles the ball, the goalkeeper drops his stick, but continues on and clears the ball with his kickers inside the circle away from the oncoming attacker. The umpire in this case awards a penalty corner and a yellow card. I like the PC and yellow card in this situation and here's why. First of all, rule 10.3 allows the goalkeeper to do all of their fun goal defending things like kick the ball and use their blockers and all that stuff but only while they've got a stick in their hand. He dropped it so he just can't play the ball. That's a clear breakdown in play. But the intentional element is that the goalkeeper knew he didn't have a stick in his hand and still played the ball, not that he intended to drop his stick in the first place. Then the ball had popped through from outside the circle, wasn't in possession of the attacker, so for me, the penalty corner is the most correct option here. Why not a penalty stroke, you're asking? Cool. Because the foul either needs to stop a probable goal or it needs to be against a player who has possession of the ball or likely possession of the ball. For me, it's not a probable goal at this stage. It's a good scoring opportunity, but the ball isn't on the attacker's stick and there's a defender right there in the mix. A lot of things could happen from here. Maybe even another breakdown from that defender, who knows? But had it been just a one-on-one -on -one between the attacker and the goalkeeper, or the, go the attacker has the ball on a stick and the goalkeeper tackles him from there, you'd get closer to a probable goal condition. On the other hand, one could argue it was a likely possession of the ball, but I'm not convinced. I don't feel it in my gut that the likelihood was likely enough, if that makes sense. To me, you reset the scales of justice really nicely with a penalty corner. That's the quality of opportunity that was taken away by the breakdown committed by the goalkeeper here. That said, a yellow card is really needed here. It's a clear breakdown of play. And if you are going to tell me that the goalkeeper didn't know that he had dropped a stick, I've got some really special tropical beach property in Canada to sell you, especially today. These are tough decisions, ones that no umpire likes to take in a crucial moment of the game. Still, it's the correct decision. And if the umpire doesn't handle it this way, he's doing a disservice to the game. What do you think? Does this explanation help? Did I miss something important? Let me know in the comments. And if you have a clip or a scenario that you can describe in excruciating detail on the socials, tag at FH umpires and hashtag ask FHU and I'll put my cape on and be right there. Thanks again, friends. See you soon. Help, help, help.